Hey everybody, still Guts in Tennessee here. Glad y'all are back. Got a battle from the EU server, uh, T67, Tier 5 American TD. Uh, it's all five battles. It's my first battle in the T67 on EU. Yeah, James Monty, our uh, NA Baboons clan leader, um, he's on, on EU also starting out, just like me. We've been platooning some. Uh, he's not in this battle. But uh, he uh, kind of pointed out to me, he was trying to do all the missions, get these female commanders, which, you know, I was doing too with the light tanks and the mediums that I had, but I didn't have any TDs yet. I don't have any heavies yet. Um, and, um, and I'll go ahead and mention, I, I don't have six cents here. Um, so I got the uh, free X speed to get the tier four M8, M8A1, the uh, American TD before this one. And didn't have much gold, so I just did the... Uh, regimental training on the crew which is like the 85 percent or whatever um and then uh, use gold to uh make my commander 100 percent so i started grinding on his skill which i went ahead and selected six cents so i don't have to retrain him to put it back so so when i unlocked the t67 um i just moved the crew over I uh, did the same thing, trained them all with silver. So, you know, they're like in their 80 something percent range. Um, but I had a, saved enough gold that I could retrain the commander with gold, get him back to 100%. So, I keep working on his six cents, uh, gaining that experience. So. Like I said, my six cents hadn't gone off, but you know, uh, with the M8A1, I kept forgetting that I didn't have six cents sometimes. It was pretty bad, so. But but I knew I didn't hear. Uh, I was just gonna shoot till somebody shot me. I was figuring I was spotted, but I'm getting such good shots here. So yeah, like I was saying, James pointed out, you know, he started some TDs, um, same line, uh, try to do the TD missions. So I did the same thing. And um, when I unlocked this, uh, the commander, because I got most of the missions done with the tier four. Uh, there's only a, I forget how many, three, I think two missions and the last one left to do. So I figure the T67 is definitely going to be better than the uh, tier four. Because that last mission is like 2,000 damage, kill a heavy, and something else. So I think I'll have better luck in the uh, T-67. So it's a good start. Uh, we're up three tanks. I got 1,500 damage. And as you notice, um, I'm running the Mark of Excellence mod. Um, you can move it anywhere on the screen you want it. I threw it up there. And it, it always, even when you run a replay, it always looks at where you are now and then adds up the damage and spotting damage you're getting to tell you what your mark, you know, where you're going to be on your mark, um, you know, after this battle. So this was my first battle, but since... I've played quite a few since, so this replay is taking all of those other battles into account and showing me up here. But that's kind of what the, if you aren't sure what the Mark of Excellence mod is, that's what it does. It kind of tells you, so you don't have to guess what's going on. Uh, and you can find it at uh, Skill for LTU's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash skill for LTU. Type exclamation mark mods in the chat, and you'll get a link. I got ammo racked. Fix all that. Man, he's gonna kill me. I gotta get this rock between me and him. There we go. Got two HP left. Got the spotting damage for that. Whoops. <laughs> Can't go up there. So I figure Artie's back here somewhere. So there he is. Target 
Oh, I stole his kill. He didn't like that. <laughs> oh, well, that's how it works sometimes. So uh, here are the end results for this. So my first battle uh, was an ace. New record, first battle. <laughs> uh, top gun, high caliber. So I got uh, almost 2,000 damage, 6 kills, 1308 XP. And uh, shot a lot of APCR. Uh, it was 21 to 29. But I actually made money. Uh, he had 19 and 575, so you know, 2,500 combined, basically. First win of the day. Got three times XP. So yeah, check out my crew over there. Um, so was that 89%, 89, 89, and this guy's less, 84. Of course, like I said, I retrained my commander, so he'd be 100, so he's only at 72%. And um, I guess I'm training him on recon, not actually six cents, so I'll have to retrain him, I guess. So yep, one battle. So not bad, uh, especially with a with a crew not at a hundred percent I was that was kind of good so anyway uh, it's just a tier five but you know t67 so overpowered at tier five uh, I enjoy playing this on na in fact uh, I've told this story before but on na um, you know about 3500 battles in when I figured out I didn't know what the hell I was doing started watching streamers and videos and learning about the game I was at this tank uh, it was one of the tanks I was playing and I really liked it at the time. I mean, it was fast, had a good gun and everything. So I played like 1,800 battles in this tank while I was relearning. And that was before I knew that this was considered a overpowered seal clubber kind of tank. So, uh, and it definitely is. But this is the tank I relearned how to play the game in. Um, you got to be smart, uh, not take hits because it's only 360 HP, no armor. So everything pins you. So it was a good tank for me to learn how to play with. Uh, so... So anyway, I'm, I'm sure I'll enjoy it on EU, uh, try to do these missions, get my female commander, and uh, like I said, unlock a uh, heavy tank, uh, probably Russian meat, Russian heavy, KV-1, and I'll uh, put that new commander in there, so I got six cents, and I don't have to go through this again, so, but uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and uh, I'll try to put stuff out for y'all, not be as uh, lazy as I've been, so, anyway, leave me a, leave me a comment. Thumbs up. And uh, y'all have fun, everybody. Keep tanking.